why does Aramco need to tap the credit markets? Should they issue a bond? Well, good morning, Brian. Uh, Aramco is uh, obviously responding to uh, the directives of the Saudi government, and the Saudi government has a very uh, long-term strategic restructuring program for the economy. And this involves a lot more than Aramco. It involves the uh, public investment fund growing by $200 billion over the next 10 years, the Saudi Industrial Development Fund financing local growth, the National Industrial Development and Logistics uh, Program uh, promoting 65 major private sector uh, developments, so forth. So, uh, the, the, yes, it's a lot of cash, but it's going to be put to good use in growing the domestic economy of Saudi Arabia and also diversifying the economy away from uh, being entirely dependent on oil and gas. You know, a big global, I guess, debate over the true value of Aramco, should it ever go public with that long-awaited IPO, Mr. Al Husseini, $224 billion in pre-tax earnings. Do you think that should solidify Aramco's argument that it should have a public valuation of more than a trillion dollars? Should it go public? Well, uh, I have no doubt about that. Uh, in the long term, uh, Aramco and the kingdom will be in the oil business for a long time. Uh, all the studies that have been conducted by the International Energy Administration and the U.S. and others uh, show us that the oil demand is going to be there systematically for many years to come. So that cash flow will be there. And, uh, yes, anybody who's invested in Aramco will, uh, will drive benefits from that uh, very affluent and uh, important industry. Is $60 oil here and $68 overseas a fair price, or do you think it should be valued higher or lower? No, uh, I, I think it's very fair. In fact, uh, the concerns that uh, many oil people have, both in the U.S. and abroad, is that uh, for many operators, set aside uh, Ramco and Saudi Arabia, but for many of the other operators, uh, that is not enough to guarantee long-term investments. And uh, if they don't do the proper pre-investing today, you'll see shortages in supply within a couple of years. So it's, it's, a, it's a fair price, but you also mm -hmm. need a stable price. And uh, this is what OPEC is trying very hard to do, is to maintain stability in the long-term outlook. 